If you're considering preparing food at home to sell to the public, it's important this food is safe for your customers to consume. The best way you can do this is by adhering to the Food Standards Code and registering your business, which is a requirement under the Food Act of 1984. Today, through this short video, we'll be showing you the main steps to assist with meeting your legislative requirements to operate a home-based food business. Preparing food for sale at home requires a registration with your local council. A home kitchen is generally suitable for small-scale, low to medium risk food activities. For example, food for sale at markets, bed and breakfast accommodation or catering businesses. Firstly, you will need to have a clear idea about the types of food your business will sell. You can then contact your local council to check if your home kitchen will be suitable. When you contact council, you may be required to speak with several departments such as Council's Planning Department, who can provide information on home occupational guidelines for business activities. This includes tidal restrictions, car parking, amenity impacts and advertising signage. You may also speak with Council's Building Department, who can provide information for any proposed structural changes to your home. This may require building permits. You may also wish to contact your local water authority who can advise if you need to install a food and oil inceptor on your property. Once you've spoken with the relevant council departments and authorities, you are required to contact council's environmental health department and submit an online registration application. These forms can be accessed at casey.vic.gov.au. You will be assigned an environmental health officer who will make a time to visit your kitchen for an inspection. Finally, you may also wish to contact Council's City Economy Department, who can assist you in promoting your business to the wider community, connecting with other local businesses, as well as professional training and development opportunities. For your registration to be approved, your kitchen must comply with the requirements of the Australia New Zealand Food Standards Code. Your Environmental Health Officer will provide advice on the structural requirements that will relate to your specific food business. But in general, these requirements will include adequate space for all food activities, including storage of ingredients and equipment, bench space for preparing and cooking food, and storage space for the final product. In the areas in which food is being prepared, all walls, floors, ceilings, benches and cupboards must be in a good condition and finished with a smooth, durable, impervious material capable of being easily and effectively cleaned. A sink in the kitchen area that is dedicated for equipment washing and sanitising. A separate hand wash basin with an adequate supply of hot and cold water through a single outlet must be provided. Liquid soap and paper towel in dispensers are also required. Ensuring storage facilities are provided for all dry, cold and frozen ingredients, finished products, utensils, equipment and packaging. These facilities must be separate and clearly designated for the purpose of storing these goods as part of the food business. Adequate ventilation is to be provided over all cooking appliances and food heating equipment. The kitchen must be pest proofed to prevent the entry of rodents, birds, animals and insects. Bins must be suitable for the volume of garbage and recyclable matter accumulated by the food business and should be emptied on a regular basis. Chemicals and cleaning equipment must be labelled and stored in a separate area to where the food is kept. There are also operational requirements for your home-based food business. These include using food grade containers with sealable lids for ingredients and finished products keeping a suitable first aid kit on site, supplying coloured band-aids and food handling gloves. A thermometer must be available to monitor food temperatures during preparation and storage. Smoking is not permitted in any food preparation or food storage area. Children and pets must not have access to the kitchen when handling or preparing food as part of your business. Personal items may pose a physical contamination risk and must not be kept in food preparation or food storage areas. Odour, noise or other nuisances must be minimised so that they do not impact your neighbouring properties. And finally, ensuring the safe transportation of food. This can include facilities to keep food cold, such as an esky or a refrigerated vehicle. 
Everyone who handles food in your business needs to have the skills and knowledge to do it safely. The Department of Health and Human Services provides information for business owners and food handlers about food safety and training requirements. Typically, food that is prepared in a home-based business is of a low risk nature. So a food safety program or food safety supervisor will not be required. However, you'll be required to keep a small number of easy to complete minimum records, which are available from Council's Environmental Health Officer. All foods that are packaged must be labelled in accordance with the Food Standards Australia and New Zealand Code. The following information must appear on the food label and should be in English. Labels must not be misleading to customers, which include making false or deceptive health claims. For access to a free food label creator and nutritional panel calculator, visit www.foodstandards.gov.au. If you make or supply a long shelf life food product, such as biscuits, to other businesses, it is recommended that you have a food recall system. The Food Standards Australia and New Zealand website provides guidance on developing a food recall plan. Here you can also access an email alert service which can notify you if ingredients you use in your food are subject to a recall. Making and selling food carries with it certain responsibilities. Food must be safe to eat and free of any contamination. We hope that this video has given you more information about what is required to start your home-based food business. For more information, please visit www.casey.vic.gov.au or contact one of Council's Environmental Health Officers on 9705 5200. For further information, please visit health.vic.gov.au.